You want to move from reacting. And what happens all day throughout the day is that you're just reacting to everybody else's agenda. Reacting to an email, reacting to a text, reacting to a knock at the door, reacting. That's why you walk into the office with nothing on your calendar and get strung out all day long because you're doing nothing but reacting to everybody else's agenda. So you want to move from reacting to creating. What are you trying to create? What are your priorities? Where's your focus? And then shield yourself from everybody else's agenda so that you can create instead of react. And here's another major vortex in people's lives throughout the workday and throughout their personal life as well. 28% of productive focus is wasted on multitasking. First thing you need to know is there's no such thing as multitasking. You actually cognitively cannot multitask. All you do is switch. You can't run two cognitive processes at the same time. You actually cannot be on a conference call and read email at the same time. All you are doing is going between them. So you're reading your email, not listening to the call. Then all of a sudden you hear someone on the call, you're listening to the call, not reading email. And then you're switching back and forth. So you're not multitasking, you're doing what's called switching. And here's the deal. Switching makes you dumber than being stoned, <laughs> according to CNN. When you are stoned, your IQ goes down by five points. When you're switching between two tasks, your IQ goes down by 10. So most people are walking through their day totally baked out of their head <laughs> and wondering why they're getting low yield results that are ineffective and inefficient. And when a muscle goes unused, like concentration and focus, it creates atrophy. Just like if you've ever broken your arm and it had to be in a sling for a month or two and then all of a sudden you took a sling off and your arm was all skinny. Because what you don't use, you lose. Same thing with concentration and attention. And most people have actually lost the ability to concentrate and be focused. Curious, the first stage of change is acknowledgement. If you were to say which of these forms of distraction are the most, you're probably subject to all of these, but are the most distracting for you? Email, phone calls, news updates, office drop-ins, or self-induced multitasking. How many people would say email? Okay, yes, me, that's mine. Phone calls or texts? Okay, a few of you. Uh, news updates, we have any politicos in here? How about office drop-ins? Okay, self-induced multitasking. Yeah, it was funny, that's always the number one answer. And what's interesting in this very distracting world that we live in, the number one answer is the one that you're actually doing to yourself. I mean, you can't even blame the knock at the door or the emails or the texts or the, or the RSS feeds. You're doing it to yourself. So don't mistake movement for achievement, activity for productivity, and rushing around for results. Because you could spend the whole day rushing around, and then if we quantify the results, it's not much.